Hello there, this is Space Runner 5 and welcome back to episode 36 of our Australian Let's Play series where we are in the process of cleaning up the world. There are very few countries left in the world that are not a part of our hedge money and yeah, I mean, we just ate Sunda, the level four. Look, look Ryukyu exists and they're a great power. Look at how 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 far they've grown. Uh, that's fantastic to see. <laughs> <laughs> go Ryukyu, go! Uh, well, we're actually probably gonna doubt them immediately because uh, they exist and they don't need to exist and I need to get rid of as many of the small little itty, itty bitty countries left in the world. So goodbye Ryukyu, uh, I will have an army here ready for you in just a minute. Let me go ahead and deal with these little, little bits of rebellions that we have at the moment. Because there are some, we have two tributaries right now which uh, we are gonna break because I, I don't wish to have any tributaries. Because uh, we will be eating them all in due time. We obviously have boats that will transport us around. I will lose manpower because we have plenty now. Uh, we are still slackening. Uh, yes, please continue to convert. Uh, add it all to the trade company. I don't even know what's not in and what isn't at this point. Uh, and we're continuing our war with Brazil. Um, and I did go ahead and uh, put together a small little peace deal here. where We're just going to kick Brazil off, <laughs> off the continent and send it back over to Europe. Uh, so it's a little bit easier for us to go ahead and get war score on them, and it'll just be us versus their colonial nations in the new world. Obviously, plus their personal unions, um, but we'll take care of those in due time. Uh, why are the boats... Okay, the boats are on their way. Good. We are continuing our occupations. We're just going to go ahead and stack like that army real quick. We have spare merchants. I don't care anymore that we have spare merchants. We have so many. Uh, and they're all converting everywhere. We are getting war score from all of our lovely little battles. We are uh, fighting anywhere and everywhere we can um, to show our supremacy against the Brazilian coalition. Uh, that is just their uh, colonial nations and their pews. And we have dealt uh, with all of our rebels over here. Beautiful. Uh, we are dealing with these ones. Are these separatists over here? Oh, those are particulars. Okay. Well, if they're particulars. I, I don't particularly care. Ha! <laughs> Pun intended. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's definitely a start video for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go land over on Ryukyu. I do want to Dao on Korea. Korea's time uh, is is up at this point. Uh, we do, I don't know, we do not have Naval Spirit. Let's go and land on Ryukyu first and then we'll go ahead and deal with Thatch. Um, you are here. I do want another army over here in Japan. We have plenty of troops uh, at this point. It's not even an issue. Uh, build them there. Don't even care if it's 114 days, because the invasion of Korea is imminent, uh, while we are cleaning up the rest of the world, because there's no one left on the mainland other than Korea at this point. Uh, we are still indeed doing battles left, right, and center for war score purposes, and obviously to weaken, uh, the Brazilians, uh, resolve for the war. You were there, you were taking that, uh, I don't need to deal with that. There's 52,000 Brazilians over there, that's okay. Let's go ahead and occupy a little bit more forts, because there really isn't much over here anymore. Uh, we have a majority of the forts. Actually, Peru actually has the majority of the forts left uh, at this point. I want to go ahead and re retake this fort, though, because, well, it's a level 2 fort. It's not super great, but it's a thing. Uh, we did upgrade that fort, because we upgraded it for our subjects. Fantastic. You are in the process of being built, we are in the process of landing. And there goes another fort. That was occupied by three dudes. That's great. Uh, independence for Sulu. Where? Oh, there. On the actual province itself. Okay. Uh, I understand that. Uh, have we finished landing? No. You're in process still. Uh, you'll be done in six days. Great. You've landed. Instant stack wipe. Take that army and go land on the Sulu. Zulu, Sulu, uh, yes, uh, yes, you can have manpower, I don't mind, minor inconvenience, it is indeed a minor inconvenience at this point, um, really doesn't matter, those are inside someone else's country, I mean, Brazil's fully occupied, at least on the mainland, not, not so much over here, but we're working on that, we can actually just do a little bit of seating, sure, just to, you know, give them a, lower their, uh, liberties, or their willingness to fight, just as much, we'll do an artillery brush here, Okinawa has already fallen, fantastic, uh, we bid you adieu, uh, Ryukyu, it was a pleasure fighting you. Welcome to the fold. Uh, go ahead and port that. We'll move this 40k over here uh, as soon as we're done. And where are you guys at? Oh, over there. Go deal with that. Come on back. We are going to do, conduct our invasion imminently. Um, these are particulars. I'm okay with them succeeding and breaking, so I'm not. I'm gonna leave Portugal to it. Uh, I have no interest in dealing with that. Uh, I want them to break. Break free. Uh, that's our truce Japan, who is indeed an OPM. Uh, Sulu, you're almost done. What is this? What tech is this? Diplo? Ah, that's fine. Don't really need Diplo points, but sure. Uh, we got that. Can I? I would like to fight the Brazilian army just a smidge more. I want to sweep you guys back into the sea. Uh, there. 
Um, just because it'll make my life just a smidge easier. We could Carpet Siege over here as well. Uh, we'll, we'll think about that here in a minute. Go. Louisiana's capital has fallen. Um, there are some armies over here. I don't particularly need to fight those ones right now, though. We're just occupying forts. Get rid of that 3k and then go there. Yeah, that'll work. There's a bunch of our cores. Fantastic. Um, these armies are there at this point. They don't necessarily need to be there anymore. Uh, we're going to take this army and drop it over there, and we'll collect this 40k as well. And we'll be good to go. So we'll also take this back. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, we do have a bunch of dipple points, which means cult conversions, I think. Let's just sort by cost, because I don't think we're capped on the cost itself. There we go. Keep going. This is just... Why not? That's all this is. We're going to see lots of Persian get spread around the world. Fantastic. I'm not going for one culture as part of this, but hey. Uh, I mean, it's it's very easy for us to do at this point. We have plenty of Dipple points. Um, actually, no, 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 I'm not going to convince myself. No, we're not doing one culture. <laughs> uh, we already have the perfect run where we're going to do that as part of this. Uh, I'm not fighting anyone right now, but I think I'll hold off on that. I can stop slackening now, though, uh, at this point, since we have plenty of manpower. Emphasis on plenty of manpower. Uh, no one fought over here, right? Yeah. No one, no one kill that stack. That stack is very important because that's going to be a free Portugal, uh, which is going to be uh, much easier for us. It's, uh, it's less, less land that we have to take later on. Let us go and sweep that because I was not paying attention to you. I'm Good job, Colonial Nation. You don't have a leader, though. Why? Get a leader and you'll be good. Uh, don't even care that you're over here. Not a big deal. Uh, this 40k is going to get moved off as well once this army is out and about. Okay, that's over in the New World. That's perfectly fine swept away um and let's go ahead and land another army over here uh since i do see uh, 68k that we'll have to deal with there still nothing uh no one's moving in there we are sweeping armies away good i'd like to hit this 18k all right you guys are movement locks and then we'll sweep these armies away uh that will work for me we are still occupying brazil just a smidge i'm just gonna do slow occupations here uh i want to see them walk over they're down to 116,000 troops uh, are their armies basically broke at this point? Mm, I mean, their countries don't have very much manpower, do mine? No. Except you're big and beefy, uh, and that's the important thing. Big and beefy clearly is good. Louisiana's got, I mean, that's a quarter of its army right there. So we're, 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 we're making our way through. Um, this is Brazilian Australia, which, oh, by the way, we are taking five provinces from Brazil, or from Australia, just so we go ahead and complete our Austrian mission tree, and we can flip Persian. Uh, I'm very excited for that. Uh, we are just waiting for our boats. Not a big deal. How oh, we're 143% overextended. That's fine. Stack white. Fantastic. We're going to go deal with that and move on down to the next fort uh, inside Peru. Because Peru's got a lot of war score just courtesy of its uh, all of its forts, rather. So how much is each of these forts? We're at minus nine from battles at this point. Uh, so battles are not good, but we have lots of occupations at this point uh, for all the forts. And obviously we have the capital at this point, which is also helping. Uh, and we want to really kick them off uh, off this uh, the New World uh, from Brazil because it's going to be way easier for us to get War Score off their provinces uh, since, well, they will all be in our continent where all of our lovely subjects can get to them uh, with ease. That's what we're going for. You're fighting some peasants. That's good. You're taking that fort. We took this fort. I want to go defend this fort. And I really wish you guys had started to carpet siege just a bit. But I understand uh, your inability to do so. Uh, just because there are, you know, vast armies that we're dealing with uh, left, right, and center. But, so war scores continue to tick up. We still have quite a bit we can get from there, and we're just going to let that chill for a little bit. Uh, I just... Oh, I actually just took that. That's kind of annoying. That was 3% war score, evidently, uh, is what that was worth. I mean, you guys can occupy that. It's whatever. All right, I think it's time we go after Korea. Is it time? No, we're still waiting on armies to get into position. There's a fort here, right? Yeah, there's a four here. So we're going to occupy that first. Uh, we are just going to gear up, I guess, is what we're going to do. Yeah, this will be fine. Um, you guys have a leader. There is no Korean army here that I can see, which means we'll be able to get there without any issues. Are there any other available armies? We have another one down here. Uh, move up to the north. Because once this, I mean, Korea should be one war. And if Korea is one war, we're good to go. Anything else? 
This is where I want like another brain be like, I want you to look at Brazil and then I want another brain to look at Korea itself. Uh, so just path for There we go. You're doing okay. Why don't we upgrade this fort since it's a uh, level two fort. Uh, upgrade that to level H. Uh, I probably should have upgraded more forts over here um, just so it's not worth nearly as much. Uh, but that's okay. Fortune Separatists. I thought I dealt with that. Evidently not. Go deal with that and come back. Alright, we'll delay that war just a smidge. Uh, I'm not really concerned about it at this point. That's Australia doing its thing. We have landed yet another army. Fantastic. That was a huge stack wipe. Good. 25%. Still wasn't really worth anything for in terms of war score from battles, but that's okay. Um, Brazil proper is getting occupied, which is good. I do see like 80k coming down south. You guys have dealt with all of your business. Um, Louisiana is still still going strong. Uh, you did not retake that. That's okay. Yeah, we'll just come back. I, I'm not actually going to follow your armies too much, just because you're kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, actually, oh, we did fight there. Good. Uh, give me 50 ammo points. Sure. Good with that. Minor convenience. Right when we get all of our cores. Uh, in line, are we still overextended? Yeah, we are. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll continue ignoring it for just a hot second. Merge. Merge. You can merge as well. It's time, Korea. Declare war. Uh, we're gonna go for imperialism. All of our lovely subjects. We're one of the final countries that is still free uh, against us. So we, we don't we don't like that too much. Uh, you're gonna split in half, so you, you can go ahead. That is not my split key. There it is. Um, just so we can continue those occupations, you go straight to this fort. Uh, you walk onto that fort, and you walk onto this fort. There we go. This will be the end of Korea. Ayutthaya, you're one war, so we're just chilling. Uh, I can't break any of these tributary statuses just yet. So, just because it's enforced by a truce. So we'll eat you guys later. Uh, we may just die on you instead. We will see. Alright. That's a fort. To Tidor, no, we are going to eat you, is the answer. Uh, we just continue marching north. I, I don't actually see any Brazilian armies at the moment. We'll just eat the southern bitch. Uh, and then we'll do artillery barrages here. Do lots of artillery barrages, because we may be behind on military tech, but that's okay. Uh, we're still gonna do well. Spanish Louisiana has 3,000 troops. Actually, you're tiny, though. Okay. Okay, that's, that's okay. It's okay if you're tiny. We will forgive you. I will lose 50 M points because those don't matter. I can't, the autonomy is, would have been much cheaper, actually, thinking about that. Uh, do an artillery brush here, 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 and here. Guess what, Korea? <laughs> Guess what's in your future? Uh, it may be an artillery brush or two. All right, so we got across good. So all of these bits are here. All right, and Korea, I want your full annexation if possible. Just go dink, dink. That's a four. Uh, we'll definitely be taking that. I will take all of your Japanese bits. All of the Isles of Japan are going to fall. It's going to be lovely. We'll take the island as so. Yes, yes, I don't have enough war score and I don't have occupied ports. That's all fine and dandy. Um, then we'll just kind of just dink, 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 dink. Uh, you're not going to be a full annexable in a single war. Okay, well, since you're not a single war, uh, we don't have to take 100% war score. We can we can afford to take a little less. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about that. More occupations are good. Just continue to push the line because I know there is an army here and I will throw it away on accident if I don't do this properly. Or throw away many, many armies if I don't do that properly. All right, you guys walk over there. You walk over there. I would like to have done some carpet sieging here, but fortunately that is off the table for us at the moment. Um, you're going to try and occupy this fort, which is not super great, but life goes on. Okay, your occupations are done. Let's go ahead and move down south. There, that'll work. There's the uh, Korean army that I was expecting. Um, but otherwise, we're doing okay. Still plenty of manpower. Going south. Uh, you hold that crossing there. Um, we'll be able to reinforce if necessary. Uh, you got some separatists. That's cool. That's cool. We ignore that. Still could take Diplotech. I don't feel the need to do so. Uh, we've left this army alone for too long, and now it's trying to uh, do things. Uh, which I don't appreciate. Keep going south, or keep going east, rather. You're occupying that. I'm uh, hoping this is like 1% war score. 
For each four, one percent war score would be enough for me. There, you guys keep walking south. Hey, I haven't actually seen the green army yet in battle yet. Uh, and it's most definitely probably stronger than our navy. Our army. Our army is trash. Uh, we win courtesy of numbers. We basically took the Russian philosophy of war, or the Soviet philosophy of war. Uh, just throw bodies at it, and that will clearly solve the problem. Um, it, it's worked, uh, so we continue it, right? It ain't broke, why fix it, right? Uh, definitely not the correct philosophy, but it's the one that we have. Uh, take that guy, that'll work. Uh, you guys go across as well. I want to make sure that they don't try and prevent us. Uh, it looks like it was 1% war score. So let's go ahead and fight there, there, and there. Uh, I don't care about that little fort. So we'll take that back uh, with the other armies as we move about. We're destroying the French army. Uh, wasn't really worth much war score. All right, we got to sit there for a month. Two months. Just assault it. Yep, this is to be expected. Uh, fighting the Kriegans. I wish to move this, please. Thank you. Go fight over there, and then we're going to go. Where did you fight us? Uh, that was 100% to be expected. Uh, we expected to lose two out of these three forts. If we get, if we get one, we're happy. Uh, is what we're doing. And where are you retreating to? Uh, that's a respectable location. You guys keep going north as another half stack. Um, we have been denied our access just for a hot second. And you guys go to that port. We have naval superiority. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But there are three forts here that we are going to be taking. We have made it across as well. Alright, so you guys go ahead and stay there and send the 40k forward. Uh, do an artillery brush here. Okay, so we got two of the forts that we wanted. Which is far better than I was expecting. I was really expecting only one. One or two. We will do this battle. This battle, we are going to lose this battle. Uh, but we're going to throw uh, away manpower at this point. We have plenty. Um, if we can afford this. Uh, we have... Artillery's going to the front line, that's fine. Right? Even if we lose even troop count, that's fine. That's that's totally fine with me. I does not matter. Mountains, mountains. Uh, we're going to win via the War of Attrition, is what we're doing here. Or bolts, I don't care about those. You guys walk back over here, so you guys can reinforce. It's 40k. Uh, we're just going to have you go adjacent. Perform another artillery barrage, and where is this at? Okay, that's in someone else's territory. I don't care. Uh, you are still progressing. Very good. Uh, you need a leader. Take that guy. Yep. We are going to fight them now. Now that they're here, we're, we're going to fight them. Uh, do I need an artillery barrage here? Yes, I do. Good. 57% on that one. It's only a level 2 fort, though. It should fall relatively quickly. We are going to do another major battle here. Austrian becomes a new primary culture. Nah, I'm good. Uh, really doesn't matter. There goes... Really? That's... That was indeed a sizable army, I would say. Uh, but that's okay. Go there and there. Keep going. Our, our progress is going to be slow, but it is progress nonetheless. Uh, and that's the important thing. Forward progress. We just need forward momentum. Alright, we're doing another battle here uh, in the mountain. That's okay. Apparently a better tactics than them, uh, courtesy of our lovely discipline. Uh, we can go one more day. There we go. Get out of there. We lost a lot of cannons, a lot more cannons than I was uh, really wanted to, but that's okay. Oh, I'd like to retreat. Good. Uh, we did manage to retreat. Uh, it was a lot closer than what I would have liked it to be, but at 50,000, even if it's three to one losses, it's okay. Oh, we can add all this to trick me. It's all going to be Catholic anyways. Um, so that's good. Did I do a artillery brush here? Uh, no, but that's okay. You guys are migrating across. Because keep in mind, it's, it's, if it's a war of attrition, we have this in the bag. We have plenty of more manpower. Uh, it's just going to be a slog getting over these mountains, uh, is what it is. Uh, you guys uh, regroup, because uh, I need to go ahead and defend this area now. Alcon has died. Uh, that's unfortunate, but life goes on. We're almost to the capital of Peru. War score is still taking up in favor. How much more can I get, actually? Uh, another 11. Okay. Revolts over here. I mean, that's okay, because it's just going to reoccupy territory we uh, have lost already. Uh, so that's A-OK -okay with me. You guys are going to walk over here. I just want to make sure that we're sitting on this capital. Uh, losing that capital is a full reset, and we lose all uh, progress that we've started. So uh, that falling is the most, or not falling is the most important thing. This falling is fantastic news. All right, we're going to advance in the... 
the Isles of Japan. Uh, we are also progressing here with our lovely subjects making their way across. Um, how are we doing over here? That's still a okay. Go there. We'll continue. Maldives, uh, we have truce with you. Uh, unfortunately, my navies are a little busy. Uh, you're also really tiny uh, and insignificant as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you are... You don't actually have to walk back right away. I was kind of expecting armies. Uh, more armies down here, but that's okay. Hafa. Scatter revolts. Uh, you guys are good to go. Keep going across. Looks like we have... Uh, Zone of control in terms of the sea, uh, which is going to trap 60, 68,000 uh, Koreans on the side. Uh, so don't mind if I do. Doing little itty bitty battles here. I would like to uh, relieve all of these sieges if possible. Okay, that didn't fall, which means that army dies. Great. Uh, we are still doing fine on military points and on manpower. All right, these two armies are ready to go back in. Uh, go over there. That'll work. Uh, this army is as well, so we can grab a, another full stack. You guys continue walking forward. We have, uh, we do have naval superiority, which I'm kind of surprised about. At this point, Brazil, we're up to 30% war score. How close are you? Minus 108 reasons. I mean, I didn't expect it to be close. I expected it to be far, far away. Uh, since there's no armies here, continue our occupations just slowly. We're slowly going to walk uh, Brazil down. Very slowly. That was only worth 0.2 war score, even though it was a sizable army. Uh, let's go ahead and reoccupy some of these capital forts. Um, do you have an army still? No, you have no army. You have an army still. Brazil's got 70k. I mean, they're. I think they're finally being ground down to a pulp at this point. There's not much. There's not much anymore. Take this, go relieve our forts some more. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in a fine shape. It's just, it's just a, a bloody war, you know. Very much to be expected at this point, though. Uh, these wars are not quick. They're not cheap in terms of manpower. Siege of Lima, fantastic. All right, go relieve that siege, and we'll go to the level one fort, because we're up to... That was a 2% war score fort. Like, these forts are important. So, what do we want to build? Sure. Sure. Just don't give me pop-ups anymore, please. Thank you. Um, we already do an artillery barrage here? Yes, okay. And I'm not going to bother assaulting, because assaulting... Uh, I would not mind assaulting here, because we have 71,000 manpower uh, in the front, but also, I, if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Uh, this is woods. This is what? This is also woods. I guess we'll fight here. No, we'll fight there instead. I want to initiate a battle and prevent us from losing our front. Or losing a bunch of war score. There we go. Relieve that. We'll fight that army, and then we'll continue forward uh, to this fort. So our forts are still worth something. Oh, that fort. Losing that kind of sucks, but hey. It's okay. Uh, we continue on to our forts. Another army got stacked with. Good. Uh, every little bit counts. Uh, I would like to get you guys over here. You guys are stopped by zone control. Okay. Okay, Chimera. I mean, those are most of our our uh, tributaries, um, which we are going to be breaking soon. Uh, as soon as we're at peace, it's going to be lovely, uh, lovely, lovely peace. Carry on south. Uh, you guys aren't quite carpeting. New Granada has been fully occupied, uh, basically. Uh, you guys are getting ready to sit on the fort itself. We're still reinforcing very nicely, nicely. Uh, rebels are not anywhere inside my country at this point. Um, just assault this. That is a mountain. Uh, we will throw bodies away on top of that mountain. It is okay. It's been deemed acceptable uh, by the government. There we go. Another fort falls. Another one down in Brazil also. Uh, and this is going to be the end of this army. Uh, keep the 20k going over there. There we go. We have plenty of reinforcements there. We're not going to lose that battle. Korea is electing to flee at this point. Uh, you guys are going to be stuck. No, you're not stuck, evidently. That's obnoxious. Uh, but life goes on. Continu continue to convert wherever you want. And I guess more cult conversions are in order. 
this is anywhere where it has been converted. We were able to do this without any issues. Uh, I mean, we're not going to be able to do one culture just because we don't do a uh, one faith, uh, which is kind of a prereq for it. Just because you can't change the culture, it's not your accepted religion. Uh, which kind of sucks. But life is on. There we go. All right, that should be enough for now. Going, the Japanese arm or Japanese, the Korean army has been uh, dismissed. At this point, uh, we don't need to be blockading here, there, or sitting there anymore. The, the, the battle is over. Not gonna say the war is over. You guys are force marching uh, everywhere. That's okay. If you guys want to get stuck on this island, that's also fine with me. Because um, you are, you're gone at this point. So that army has been dismissed, or dismantled. Uh, you're down to 119,000 groups. That's not much. Especially when we're getting ready to seed a yet another fort. I was not paying attention. All right, you guys just sit there because I'm not going to actually pay attention to that, unfortunately. An artillery barrage there. We're up to 36% war score. We can get another six from occupations. Uh, and we are still 101. So I don't think we'll be able to take all of this, take the, the full complement here. Uh, but that's okay. Can't do an artillery barrage there. That's fine. Uh, there went the Korean army that was uh, running to the north. It was fleeing is what it was. Let's actually move an army up here. We'll clean this up, too, uh, since we don't need to be here anymore. Uh, we've clearly uh, clearly uh, survived and won our war against uh, Korea at this point. It's a level 2 fort. Continue forward, because there are no forts here that are opposing us, or no one's opposing us there, which is great. Uh, have we, take, we, did, we have relieved this fort. Let's go ahead and move south once more. We're good to go. Conversions are in order. Let's do an artillery brush here. I don't remember. I didn't click the button. Did the, the AI must have clicked the button. Also, there's a little OPM here who exists now. Illinois. Uh, we may eat you just as part of this and just to move on with our lives. All right. So there goes another. Fort. Oh, that was instant siege on that two siege or that level two fort. Just nice to see. Something like that. A little bit of pathing. Just to fight some more armies. Because, I mean, we're really trying to break Brazil here. As much as possible. Uh, this army doesn't need to be here. Why don't we go ahead and... I don't think... No, we don't actually need to fight there. We're fine. I was like, we can go land. 99% on that siege. Hmm, yes, that's uh, that's lovely. That's, I definitely love seeing that. It does, definitely fills me with joy to see a level 9... Or 99% on a siege. Mm, yes, it's glorious. Lost lots of manpower. Korea still has, still has some, but that's the Brazilian army. Fantastic! It looks like it was absolutely wiped. It was swept from the field. Uh, both forts have fallen. All right, Korea, how are you feeling? The 101. I'm assuming our absolutism has dropped. No, absolutism is still fine. Uh, are we over the cap cap? No. So why did our war score cost change? It's a great question. Um, but I don't need to take all of this. There we go. We can do something like this and be fine. Uh, except I don't want you to have any forts. No forts going forward. Something like that. How close are you accepting this? Minus 140. Well, it's uh, not an insignificant number. Uh, we will continue our waging our, our wars and making progress in this general direction. You, we are going to declare war. And go forward. Um, separatists, those are all inside someone else's land that I don't need to care about. Make the air leader, because he's going to go be on a siege. And we're going to move this ADK, and you're going to begin a siege. There, sure. Uh, since Korea has been completely cut off from its main, main area. Go, keep going north. Uh, you guys can now split, because... We got nothing. This is their entire army right there. It is now preventing, or is not, is no longer able to uh, retreat back to its homeland. Uh, you're right. Some percent. Uh, I do want that to fall. Okay, Brazil. Is it time for peace? Maybe time for peace. I mean, I, I'm not able to throw you off the continent. I, I would love to. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot at this point in time. Uh, you can keep these bits. Let's see how much we can actually take off you. Yeah. Okay, okay. There we go. 53% more score. 
like the clean up borders just a smidge, but this is half of Brazil's being cleaved off. And if they lose Portugal, we're in good shape. Uh, which this is another thing that we could do is if we do this, uh, the Brazilian Navy can no longer be here. Well, it can, but uh, it just prevents it from really being able to do much uh, future. So we can do something like that, because then the only coastline Brazil actually has is here, other than its colonial nations. I don't know if you can still have a navy, even though you don't have any ports yourself. It'll be interesting. And we get our five provinces over here that we need for Australia. Good. We lost almost three million men. That's outrageous. You can split in half, though. Where is your uh, cap? Okay, so it's just moved inland. We are going to core everything. So we get one massive colonial nation. Holy War, Defender of the Faith. Lost the Defender of the Faith. Yeah, that's just because we lost our adjacency to you, which is fine. Does not matter. There you go. That's, that's what I want to see. Portuguese peasants. Yeah, uh, so Portugal will break once that falls. Uh, and they should become independent. Which means, uh, I mean, it's less land that we actually have to occupy ourselves, which is good! Because I don't want to occupy it. Let's go fight there. Uh, you guys move over here to help uh, cover ourselves. Um, do a naval blockade. Do one as well. Naval barrage. Continue forward. A uh, little bit of pretenders. That's not a problem. Alright, you guys. Move back to the north. In that area and we'll let you guys go ahead and rebalance yourselves this army is here as well we're gonna let you split in half uh, I... I mean that was to be expected um we'll just continue forward again because that's their entire army is that eighty four thousand? right yeah they got 95 so they, they built some more troops that's not an issue though Not having a frontline kind of sucks. All right, you're out. I mean, that's 80,000 manpower that we just got rid of. Doesn't really seem to be that big of an issue. Uh, walk over there. There is a dude here. I unfortunately can't see him. But we will continue forward. All right, a little bit of Separatists. Not a big deal. Korea, we're just waiting on a couple forts. Good. There goes yet another fort. Uh, we will drop you guys there. Guys, relieve this fort, which kind of sucks. Uh, if we can't take it, it's not that big of a deal since it is inland. Uh, this is a level one fort. Don't need to do anything about that one. It will just fall. This is both stacks. Yeah, just split up. You'll reinforce. Korea's got nothing left. They got 80,000 troops in total. We're going to lose this battle. Uh, retreat. There you go. I don't really want to lose my troops. Uh, we've worked so hard to maintain and keep. All right, you guys are doing well there. Uh, doing artillery brush here. There's lots of defenders. We're almost on their capital at this point. Innovate is sure. You guys can go ahead and carpet siege to your heart's content. Really doesn't make a difference. Could take Aventech. Meh. It's kind of a nice to have versus a necessity at this day and age. All right, we go back. Because we have uh, large manpower pools and they don't, uh, which is the important thing. All right, you are going to get full annex. We're going to say goodbye to you and you. And now we can see the uh, the last guy. Do we have a truce with you? Uh, no. So, bye, Japan. This will be the end of Japan. Uh, they did go bankrupt, basically, because they uh, deleted their uh, level 8 fort they used to have in this province, since they can no longer afford it. You're not accepted culture there. No one's an accepted culture. There are no stars on any of these guys here at all. You've disappointed me for the last time. Go, and obviously we have a little light fort, so Japan is kind of stuck. Those are rebels inside someone else's country, so I don't need to be worried about it. You guys split in half. You guys will also be split in half. I would like a dude. I was like, any dude will be fine as long as they're an accepted culture. There you go. Ended another stack wipe. Good. That was also a fort falling. 
Um, Kree, if I don't take that one port, I'm not really going to be that concerned about it. I do want to go No. I was like, I would like to start the Siege of your capital at this point. Unfortunately, we cannot. Uh, get on the boat, and the boat goes there. If you let me get across, we're, yep. Look at that, you got about 80,000 troops in your face. The blockade there. Pretty sure our navy is superior, and you guys are trying to flee. Where's your honorable, uh, you're not being very honorable there, uh, there, Korea. You're, uh, split. By fleeing the field of battle? How disgraceful, right? Just, uh, just rolling there, though. Alrighty. But that is all the time that I have for today. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys please like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.